wouldn't expect it from Ralph Van Dam. He goes into a match, he's all business. Anderson, you know, he's kind of, you know, he's kind of an asshole. Well, yeah, but more or less, yeah, don't, don't beat around the bush, Mike. How do you really feel? But no, <laughs> that's kind of what Anderson's whole deal is, and it's basically the truth, because he is. So, yeah, this is uh, the all-important number one contenders match. We tried this thing at Victory Road, you know, and, and we're trying to get a number one contender here. I respect the fact, I like what Hulk Hogan did here. I love this. But I, I really do. I really do. Spirit of competition. I mean, I, obviously, Hogan and Bischoff, not too happy with the network, having Sting be their special enforcer. I don't blame them for that. If they're calling the shots, they should be calling the shots. We have seen how competitive... We've seen how even and, and, quite honestly, how equal these two guys are. Started, like we said, at Victory Road. We saw it last week on Impact in that four-way match. And now Van Dam, Mr. Anderson, settle it once and for all tonight. Yeah, you know, I know Mr. Anderson has been saying, where's my title shot? Where's my title shot? You know, because he feels like he shouldn't, that, that he's earned it already. Because he's in his contract and all this stuff. But, you know, in my view, just my opinion, you know, I, I agree with Hogan and Bischoff. I think you got to re-earn it. Forget about your contract. This is a great opportunity for Anderson. Especially in light of what Van Dam. Yeah, especially in light of what Hogan said earlier tonight. The fact that that return match clause was from back at against all odds and TNA President Dixie Carter no longer has the kind of power that she had back at that time. So Anderson, no return match being given to you. Go out and earn it, just like Hogan said. Standing wow. called into the pin. Close, close right there. Perfect stand of Moose Salt by Van Dam. See the stinger right there, the world heavyweight champion watching on. It's got to be weird. It went for Rolling Thunder, but I saw a counter. Way to scoop the Rolling Thunder by Anderson by rolling in and stopping Rob's momentum. Step ahead there, but whoop, I don't know if he's going to stop this monkey flip. Oh, no, he, he will. Blocked he it. Look at Anderson. Oh, nice swing and neck breaker. But I was saying, Mike. It's got to be kind of strange for that man right there, Sting, the world champion, to watch this. Off the neck breaker, here's the pin, Anderson gets two. To see who's going to win this match. If I'm Sting, I know there's got to be, you, you better assume that Sting want, would rather face one of these guys than the other. I don't know who that person is. I don't know if Sting would rather face Van Dam or Anderson. But when you're a world champion, I'm telling you from experience, there's certain guys you want to face, and there are guys that you don't want to face. When you're world heavyweight champion, you've got that target. They're coming at you from every conceivable wow. angle. And, wow, what a unique neck breaker turned into a back breaker in mid-move. Right, that was very, very impressive by Mr. Anderson. That neck breaker was spot on. Yeah, and then dropped down with a, a backbreaker type motion right across the knee. Again, you can see it. Look, look Sting. Look, he, uh, he's a world champ for a reason. He's a legend for a reason. He is. He's not just being playing enforcer out here because that, that's what the network's said to do. He's scouting, my man. He's watching every little detail both these athletes are putting out here. He is scouting. That's what Sting's doing in my opinion. Up close and personal look for Sting is Anderson, again on the verge of victory. Series of near falls here with, to this point, Anderson getting more of those near falls than Van Dam. And Anderson in control just yanks Van Dam back out, away from the ring ropes, and neutralizes well, it. Well, that's... that's smart to do if you're Anderson. You want to keep Van Dam on the mat and neutralize Van Dam. And it's a really strong rear choke right there or a rear chin lock by Mr. Anderson. He's got all his upper body weight on the back of Van Dam and Rob knows that. Trying to get to a vertical base. Anything that you can do if you're Anderson to try and stop Van Dam from exploiting that uh, great lower body strength, the great leg strength that he has. You know, I, I, I've tried it myself to... Maybe oh, oh, my God! God. Oh, jeez! Oh, shoot! The corner of the clothesline, two, three, inside out, got the super kick by... Well, there's a special enforcer, Sting rolls in, got it! Oh, no, two! Special enforcer, Sting! Well, Sting has the authority to do that because if anything goes down, he more or less kicks it in, he being Sting, into that roll, so good job by Sting to wake up right there. Oh! Well, sort of ref got drilled. Watch Anderson, watch Anderson on top, Sting counts, one, two! Oh. Well... Sting calling it down the middle there with those counts. I mean, I mean, we, we, we heard that the net the network said you'd be in control, Sting, and, and, and that's what Sting is. He's in control right now. Being that referee Brian Hebner inadvertently just got cracked. Explosive move out of the corner by 
Anderson taking out the referee. And yes, it boils down now to Anderson and Van Dam with, well, the third man in the ring, Sting. He's going to be defending his title against the winner at lockdown. Close line off the ropes. Another it's running close line. Oh, and then the kick from Van Dam. Looking at these three men in the ring and seeing that it's been a number one contendership and the champion now turning to the referee. It's a weird dynamic to me. But it's pretty cool. Let's split like Lulzor. Oh, that's flush. Perfectly. Sting counts two and only two. Rob thought maybe Sting was doing something shady with the kick out. Rob's body, the momentum of the kick out by Anderson ended up on top of Sting a little bit. Is that rolling thunder that? Oh, my. Anderson wow. avoids him the first time. But never saw that move coming as he slingshotted himself. Did Van Dam over the top. How good is Van Dam at shifting gears, changing gears? Mr. Rolling Thunder went over the top rope. Caught Anderson big time. And now, he's not. you got to be careful. You don't get counted out here. And Sting, not, not obviously not a referee. He's a world champ, but he is the referee now. Uh-oh, steel chair. Mr. Anderson takes it, slides it into the ring, and oh. Sting's got oh, good ideas. Yeah. yeah, well, Sting, yeah, we couldn't see up the Stinger took the uh, steel chair, got it out of the ring. Wait, wait, look at this. Gonna try for the mic check here? God! God! Jeez, head first right into the steel post goes Van Dam. Wow. screaming at the special enforcer Sting to count him out. Oh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> Anderson's lucky Sting didn't DQ him for doing what he did, but Sting, I, I said, is not a regular referee. But I see Anderson's point looking for the count out. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Exchange between Mr. Anderson and the referee Sting, the world heavyweight champion. Now the Sting just blasting, getting all over Anderson. And the bell sounds as Sting and Anderson exchange and just have to, oh, oh got to presume Mr. Anderson disqualified Rob Van Dam, the winner here in the Rob, number one Rob, contender. That means Rob is the number one contender, which that in itself is massive. Which has got to just add to the frustration from Mr. Anderson. Senior official Earl Hebner coming down. He's first to try and, and stop and separate. And here comes, here comes security. Here comes TNA agents on the scene. I'm not even sure Van Dam even knows what happened. He's been down on the outside, but... But look, seems to be like Van Dam. Oh, 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 here goes Anderson right back after Sting. Amidst the chaos, looks to us like Mr. Anderson disqualified with RVD the winner. TNA cameras are on the scene. We're going to sort it out. We'll be right back with the answer. For years, you've eaten Angus beef the way the man wants you to. Well, now it's time to enjoy Angus beef the way it was meant to be. Oh, yeah. Finally, Angus beef done right. Oven roasted, freshly sliced. Introducing the Angus three cheese and bacon. Arby's all across America, one little green guy Hello, handsome. is making a big impression. Oh! Paul makes going to the movies fun again. This ship takes off very slowly. It's a little awkward. Paul, wait it on. Entertainment and more. No glasses required. Nintendo 3DS. Take a look inside. I'm Epic Win. Survive! I push to limit every time. But the Rec TV of no limit. Like having 6,000 shows and movies at no extra charge. Much inspirational. No pain. No pain. <laughs> Get 6,000 shows and movies at no extra charge. Don't just watch TV, direct TV. 